welcome to the aircraft review of the Cessna Caravan. Brought to you by Jet Aviva. I'm Tom Defoe. The Cessna Caravan was originally designed and first flew in 1984 by Cessna Aircraft Company. Two years later, in 1986, the company stretched the airplane by four feet, and what we have here today is the Grand Caravan. In total, the fleet consists of over 2,600 airplanes. The heart of the Cessna Caravan is its Pratt & Whitney PT-6 engine. For those of you familiar with turboprop engines, you're familiar with the PT-6. If you're not, know that it's one of the most reliable, relied upon turboprop engines in the turboprop world, with tens of thousands in operation. Initially, Cessna built the caravan with a Dash 114, which had 600 horsepower. When they stretched the airplane to the Grand Caravan, they made the Dash 114A, which had 675 horsepower. Now, this airplane, the latest model, the EX, has a Dash 140 producing 867 horsepower. To harness all that, we've got two options for propellers. On this airplane, the four-bladed Macaulay, or from the factory, you can also choose the three-bladed Hartzell propeller. The Cessna Caravan was built for hauling. As you see on this Cessna Grand Caravan EX today, We've got a belly pod with four individual compartments. In total, capable of carrying 1,090 pounds of cargo or luggage. To accommodate even more cargo and luggage, this cargo door easily accommodates a standard pallet. In the back part of the cabin, there's a dedicated area that can hold an additional 320 pounds. Next, I'd like to show you the TKS anti-icing system. The Cessna Grand Caravan EX, as well as its little brother, the Short Caravan, have the option to be certified for flight into known icing. From the factory, they install wing leading edges, strut leading edges, and the tail, both the vertical and horizontal leading edges, with TKS panels. The heart of the TKS system lives here in the belly pod. The tank for the fluid, as well as the pumps and valves, live behind here. The tank holds enough fluid in normal operations for well over four hours of continuous operation. Additionally, the propeller and the windshield receive ice protection from TKS fluid. In addition to the cargo door that we saw on the left side of the airplane, there are two access points up front for the crew and this dedicated passenger air stair. Easy to operate and makes easy access for passengers. One of my favorite things to talk about with the Cessna Caravan is its landing gear. Hidden underneath this fairing is a single piece of spring steel that extends all the way from one axle to the other with only pillow blocks bolting it to the structure of the fuselage. What that does is allow all of the stress from the flexing of landing to be absorbed within the landing gear and not transmitted to the fuselage, only the weight. So if you want to operate into it, your grass strip, gravel, dirt, an unimproved area, or if you're doing cargo operations into a paved runway. The nose gear is similarly designed for rough operations. It looks like a standard oleo build, when in fact, if there's no air charge, this spring steel dragling carries the weight. So in a rough environment, no matter what happens with the seal, you're covered and you can continue operating in a rough environment. Here we 
are back at the front of the airplane, back at the heart of the beast with the PT6A engine. What I didn't show you earlier is this monster single stack exhaust. So the Cessna engineers worked closely with Pratt & Whitney Engineering when they designed the engine for the caravan, designing a gas generator case to produce all of the exhaust down the right side creates a totally clean exhaust signature on the left side of the airplane. Now let's go check out the inside of the airplane. Welcome to the inside of the Cessna Caravan. This airplane was designed from the ground up as a utility turboprop. That really means you can design the inside however you need. Do you need cargo or executive VIP or anywhere in between? One of the best things about the caravan interior is how flexible it is. Changing out the configuration of the caravan interior is as quick as one, two, three. From seats to cargo to parachute to executive VIP is a snap. Welcome to the business end of the caravan, where the brains live. Here, the Garmin G1000 NXI system provides incredible situational awareness and all the tools necessary to keep pilot and passenger and cargo safe to destination. What the G1000 does for the crew and for an airplane like this is integrate all the systems that we used to see in multiple instruments. The Garmin radar displayed on the moving map or on the PFD to radios, comms, navigations. Everything is displayed right here from terrain, traffic, all the tools you need to keep yourself safe, situationally aware, and able to enjoy this platform. Come sit up front with me and check out this view. The Cessna Caravan has an amazing windshield. You get the traditional view of a high wing Cessna looking down, but you also get view up, view to the side. It's incredible. You're able to just soak in the total panorama. The flaps on the Cessna Caravan are truly remarkable. They're massive in size, spanning well over two thirds of the span of the wing. They provide incredible takeoff and landing performance. If you have the STC that allows you to take off in full flaps, you can get off the ground or with floats off the water at under 50 knots of indicated airspeed. So in addition to all of the incredible features of the Garmin G1000 NXI, which includes the GFC 700 autopilot, you've got your standard backup instruments should all else fail. If your electrical system fails, if your backup alternator fails, you also have a standby battery, but then you've got the standby instruments. This ADF does look like a piece of history, which it is. They're still installed to this day because many of the austere parts of the world, such as Africa, South America, and places like that, still use ADF as a primary mode of navigation. The Freon air conditioning system is so great in this airplane. It's got three evaporators. There's one mounted in each wing and one in the back of behind the cabin that provides incredible cooling for the whole airplane, including the cockpit. The Grand Caravan has enough fuel to be able to go on a long range cruise for about a thousand miles. But more importantly, if you load this up with enough fuel to fly for two hours plus reserves, you can still carry eight adult passengers plus cargo. Put it another way, you can have a couple hours of fuel and easily carry 2,500 pounds of payload. I almost forgot to tell you one of my favorite things about the cockpit. There's a cup holder for each pilot right below the yoke. Thank you for joining me on today's review of the Cessna Grand Caravan, brought to you by Jetta Viva. Because you know, we like talking about these airplanes almost as much as we love flying them. 